What goes on, guys? We're back here again with yet another review. And today we're taking a look at something that I didn't think I was going to be taking a look at as soon as we are. But we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Mattel Hammond Collections Carnotaurus. Now, Carnotaurus is one of my favorite theropod dinosaurs. I'm a big fan of it. I think it's very cool. Um, you do get to see some upcoming figures. The only one I'm interested in is the Dimetrodon. Blue and Owen, oh, uh, I'm not too too big on. There you can see a little bit of read up on the Carnotaurus. This is a nice mid-sized box. It's not as big as the T-Rex, but not as small as like the Carathosaurus or the Parasaurolophus or something like that. Here you go if you want to get the barcode. If I were you guys, check on Target because it's already been on sale. I actually got this for 25 bucks and I had store credit, so I paid $20 out of pocket for this guy. That's pretty freaking awesome. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pop this dino open. So getting this beauty out of the package, I'm very happy with it. I think she looks great. I really, really like the color scheme on this thing. Um, and I really like the, I don't wanna say the amount of articulation in it, but I, I think it's enough. Um, Obviously, there's no accessories to speak of, and it's not perfect. There are some things that I think at the $35 price point, they could have done a little bit better, but we'll go ahead and hop into that, starting with the head sculpt. Now, personally, I think Mattel absolutely kills it with dinosaur sculpts. The way that they do the scales, all the scoots, all the you know, grooves and folds in the skin. It is amazing what they have done with this license. And this is no exception. She looks great. I do like the inside of the mouth sculpt, though I do think it could have used like a little bit of a light pink dry brush. The teeth do look pretty good. A um, little soft, not very pointy. Um, and then I like this little underbrush. But I think my favorite part is definitely the darker browns and blacks and grays that they use to make the pattern on the back. I mean, it's pretty impressive. There's even like a little spray of like bright orange there. Now, she does have like that realistic eye thing. You can kind of see on camera. It doesn't really work good in <clears throat> in practice, in person. Really have to get it at like the right angle. And I, I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of that. I honestly just prefer a nicely painted eye. Now, one complaint I do have aside from that is the fingernails are not painted. And I think at 35 bucks, it should be painted. Nor is the dew claw, which that always bothers me. So I think that could have used a little bit of paint. But other than those, I think the paint is perfect. I love it. I like that they put it into the legs and, you know, it doesn't look weird. It blends together nicely. I like the cut off there. It's very good. And it goes all the way down to the sculpt of the tail. I really do enjoy that. The sculpt is damn near perfect for a um, Jurassic Park style Carnotaurus, which is pretty awesome um, because, you know, these dinosaurs aren't necessarily super accurate to what they would be scientifically speaking, but to get a nice looking, cool looking theropod is, is all right by me. Now, again, there's not a single accessory in the box, which I don't really know what you'd give a dinosaur for an accessory. So maybe like a chunk of meat or something. That'd be cool. Like if the T-Rex came with like a goat or the goat leg, that would be cool. But I mean... I'm not too upset about that. Um, so we'll just go ahead and hop into articulation. The mouth is on like a hinged jaw, which if you move, it only moves together. So even if you move the bottom, the top opens too. And I'm not too big a fan of that. I like when you can kind of just like slightly open it like because it only stays in certain spots. It, it's, it's not terrible, but I would have just preferred like a regular hinged mouth um you do get a ball peg here these are more for leaning so using both of the joints together you can get them to look side to side you can get them to look up about that far down that far which is pretty good but no rotation in either one of them i think a little rotation at the base of the neck would have been nice if you want to get like a side bite or something um you do get a hinge at the shoulder it'll go down it'll hinge at the elbow and swivel and it'll rotate at the shoulder as well at the the top of the leg, you do get a swivel there, kind of goes in and out a little bit. And then at the stifle, you do get a hinge there, and then that'll rotate. At the hock, you do get a hinge and a swivel there. And then at the pastern, it goes down and up and pivots. So you do get all the leg articulation that you want. So it's like hook, stifle, pat, ho hock, pastern. At least I think so. That's how it is in mammalian anatomy. I don't know. You guys know the drill by now. Then you do get a ball peg at the base of the tail, which I do like that. You get a ball peg right here in the middle of the tail. And then the rest of this is a bendy wire, but it's not great. And 
you know, it'll just be for slight adjusting poses. So overall, and no peggles at the bottom of the feet, just the Jurassic Park logo. Overall, I'd say the articulation is what it needs to be. Ooh, like that's a pretty good pose right there. Um, so I'm not too upset about it. Here she is next to the NECA Toys King Kong, along with the Jazzers Fortnite series Peely. Here she is next along to the Dark Knight Returns McFarlane Toys Batman, along with the Hasbro Marvel Legends 6 and Series X-Men Series Darwin. And then finally, of course, here she is next to the Hasbro Marvel Legends What If Series Zombie Captain America. And I will say that it's a pretty good size. Um, for the scale, it's fine. Carnotaurus is a little bit smaller than T-Rex. Um... Um, I think it's a little exaggerated. It should be maybe a little bit bigger, but not by much. Um, obviously, it's not a six-inch scale. I should have mentioned that prior. This is definitely a three and three-quarter inch scale figure, but I know that going into this line, and I'm at this point, I'm all in, so I'm totally okay with it. So at this point, you guys may be wondering, yo, Ant, what are your final thoughts on this dino? And I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with it. It is not my favorite dinosaur in the series. Oh, is she gonna hit the wall? Oh, she did, but... It's just kind of skidding a little bit. Um, it's not my favorite dinosaur on the line. I don't really know what that is. I still think the T-Rex is pretty excellent. Um, I think a diaphragm joint would have been nice on this one for that higher price point and that bigger size. I think it could have benefited because she does feel kind of hollow, which is a little odd. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that, but it's, it's not the end of the world neither. It's a good looking dinosaur and it's another species for the shelf. Um, and all that being said, I really do enjoy it. So yeah. Not too much to complain about. I also want to mention that they did men fix the size of the feet. A lot of the com people complained about the uh, T-Rex's feet being way too big, where a lot of 3D printers, um, you know, people who 3D print stuff, made smaller feet and, like, attachments and stuff, which, you know, I never really had a big problem with it. I didn't really care, but I could see the complaints. So it's nice to see that Mattel was kind of listening and made the smaller feet. So with all that being said, at a price point of normally 35 bucks which is, you know, not a lot of money, but it's a little bit more expensive than a normal one. I'm going to go ahead and still give this 7.5, 8 out of 10. I really do like it. I think that it's a good figure, and it's a lot of fun, and it's just awesome to have on the shelf. I love getting me some new dinos. So, with all that being said, I believe that's all I got for today. If you have not already, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I post a lot over there, and I have a lot of fun, so I'm sure you all will too. But as always, let me know. You copping? See you guys in the next one. Peace. Welcome on, guys. I wanted to hop on here again and thank you all for watching. And to let you know that if the following apps interest you, feel free to follow me on them as I put the links in the description for you guys. I really appreciate everything you all do for me, so DM me with any questions or thoughts. I'd love to sit and talk with you all. Again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.